Well, excitement is definitely in the air here at Winter X Games, but it takes a lot more work for the pro riders to get where they are. We followed snowcross superstar Tugger Hibbert as he worked with Speedworks to get his sled all dialed in for the big race. Hey, what's up? Tucker Hibbert here, Granby, Colorado. We're out here uh, in a cow pasture testing for X Games, getting a little practice in, just getting the stuff dialed in. Speedworks and the Monster Energy Arcticat team have come out to Colorado to test and practice for Winter X Games 13. Tucker has taken gold in snowcross at Winter X Games three times in 2000, 2007, and in 2008. The pressure is on him to claim his fourth in a three-peat fashion. He uh, started racing, you know, as early as he could when he was 12, 13 years old and was able to get him into the X Games at age 15, which he wasn't uh, even old enough to be a pro yet. And he won his first year there. So he made a very big impact and he's raced it every year since then. Yeah, I'm definitely excited about X Games. I mean, every year that's kind of our, our peak of the season, you know. We use all the other races as build up for the X Games event. You know, I used to watch him ride a lot and try to critique him, but that don't work anymore. He's, he's way beyond me, so. Kirk Hibbert is not only a legendary snowmobile racer and ace mechanic, he's also Tucker's dad. I mean, I, I raced, you know, professionally for most of my life, and, and uh, I enjoy doing it, and so being able to work with my son has, has been great. It's really cool, you know, my dad and I have been able to work together a lot in the last few years and, you know, I grew up going to the races with him when he was racing and it was pretty fun to be able to, to grow up in, in that atmosphere and I learned a lot. I think it's, it's definitely, you know, made me a better competitor and racer today. Well, the, the X Games is, I guess you could call it our Super Bowl or our uh, World Series as far as snowmobile racing goes. It's a chance for us to showcase our sport in, in front of millions of people, um, not just in the U.S. and Canada, our normal audience, but all, all around the world. Racing at X Games is quite a bit different than racing in the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series because of the extreme elevation differences. The challenge for us is to get the engines tuned properly for this elevation. Uh, a two-stroke engine loses about 3% of its horsepower for every thousand foot of elevation that you go up. Most of the time we're just uh, you know tuning on sleds and then they'll, they'll send me out with a sled and, and have me do a couple starts and then go out on the track for you know five ten laps and get a good feel for the the clutching and the, the way the sled works and see if it changes from the first few laps to the to the end of the lap see if the sled gets a little lazy or anything and if they're not needing me to go out and, and test something I just get on the practice sled and go hammer out hammer out motos and just work on uh, going faster, work on my technique and speed in the corners and different things. Tucker is, uh, I guess an, a good analogy would be like uh, the Michael Jordan of, of basketball or what Wayne Gretzky is to hockey. He's one of the premier riders uh, to ever come along in the sport of snowcross. We have to make sure that his equipment is 100% all the time. He's always got a target on his back and Everyone would love to say that they beat Tucker Hibbert in a snowcross race. Steve Wool at Speedworks and, and all the guys back in the shop have been working really hard the last few years to get us, uh, you know, motors and, and setups that really work good. You know, we've been we've been dominating this year pretty good with you know not only myself but all the other Articat guys have been doing really well. Yeah, Speedworks we we build all of Articat's race engines, um, it, and it's hard for for me to work real close with all the drivers, but you know, Tucker, we try to make sure that he's got a top-notch package to go out there with. Not only is Tucker one of the best snowcross racers ever, but he is also an A1 groomer. Yeah, I really enjoy driving the groomers. I've done it a lot. You know, coming out to places like this, testing and practicing, and you know, it takes a lot of grooming to make a track realistic to what we race on. So, I seem to seem to be the guy in there driving all the time. And when the when the things break down, that's when it gets really frustrating. But other than that, it's pretty fun. Fifty percent of the work is done on the snowmobiles, and fifty percent is done on the groomer maintenance. 
And whenever the groomer breaks, we blame it on Tucker. You notice there's one sitting out here backed up over the bank with uh, parts all tore off of right now, so. I'm always the one driving the groomer, so I guess it's my fault when it breaks, but every time it seems to be something silly that's not really anyone's fault. But yeah, it seems like we're just always working on groomers trying to, you know, trying to make them last and, you know, go long enough to get a track built and maintain it. And... Well, I don't think you're ever ready, but uh, we'll be we'll be uh, ready when the when the green flag goes, I guess. But no, I'm feeling pretty good. I think we're ahead of where we've ever been as far as our setup and our testing. Sleds are working better than better than average, I guess at this at this point. But um, just always got to keep working. There are those who talk the talk and those who ride the ride. Get the best deals of the season now at your Articat dealer.